Hello, this is Jeff Neville for Selective Imagery. If you'd like to skip ahead and uh, go past my introductory slideshow, it kind of shows uh, you folks what I like to take pictures of, jump ahead to about the 1 minute and 45 second mark, and that should get you close to where we start the real deal here with the video. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Welcome to Selective Imagery. Hello everyone, this is a visit to Wilmington, North Carolina Railroad Museum and a quick stop at the USS North Carolina Battleship. So as you know, I do predominantly bird photography and nature, but I do shoot other genres and it's been a little slow in the bird category lately. So my friend Bob from Bob Our Photos, please check out his YouTube channel. And myself decided, hey, let's hop in the car, drive an hour and a half, go to Wilmington, check out this museum. We had enough time to stop for a bite to eat, get some pictures of the battleship, and uh, I'll share you some pictures from the area. It's definitely worth a long weekend if you have the time to stop there and see the area. So let's move on and look at some of the pictures. This first picture is from the outside of the building of a full-size steam engine. It was put into service in 1910 and it ran to and from Fayetteville, which is about 75 miles away. And here we have another view of the steam engine from the front. And you can see the entrance sign to get into the building. Now they also had a caboose. Okay, so you could see how, where the crew lived. You can go inside that and walk around pretty interesting. And I guess you can even uh, schedule a birthday party there for your uh, kids or your grandkids if you want to. So the museum isn't huge in terms of physical trains themselves so but it's a good history and uh, you know there's other things on the grounds you could take pictures of like this railroad crossing for example and coming up an old bell. But um, there's a lot in the museum to see. This is on the front porch of the building. And then here we have the, uh, the doorway to get in. And it's all about the history of the Atlantic Coastline Railroad and the railroad history in Wilmington. You got train tables for the kids to look at. When you first walk in, you look to the left, you see all these um, train uh, cabooses and whatever. Those are all, all those trains are for sale. And then they have a lot of uh, gifts for young kids um, that you could get on your way out, of course. And they're cool. I mean, they're really neat if you got little kids, grandkids that you want to bring to this place. Now, you learn via numerous displays throughout the building and um, it has one of the best model layouts 
uh, in the country, which you'll see in the upcoming slides. But um, it's just some really nice displays that they have set up throughout this building. I personally like this one, how they keep in touch with some old phones inside. And you got displays of the, you know, of the crew, what they what they wore in that era. They used to go on the, on the uh, tracks with this uh, device that had a lot of tools on it that they would use to carry. They also had push carts that they would use carrying their tools. And then they had like. Uh, you know, display showing what certain parts of the railroad would look like. Where you'd get your tickets, you know, cashier areas, that type of thing. And, you know, here's where obviously you would get the, you know, your bags pulled on that cart. This is the, cl the clerk's office. Now, this museum was established in 1979. It is a nonprofit organization. And if you want to go there, it's on 505 Nut Street in Wilmington, North Carolina, 28401. And it costs $10 for an adult. And now here you're gonna see, here you're gonna see the room. There's my friend Bob. With all these displays, with the train tracks and the scenery and everything set up. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And they have different foot pedals set up in front of different displays where you can, you know, push one button, you maybe get train sounds, or you actually activate a train, and it'll start going down the track. But it's it's just really really neat to look at. And if you're into trains, you'd you'd really like this place. I mean, very, very well done uh, track and, and, and scenery, and then, you know, part of the wall was painted to kind of blend in um, to what they have on the track. And here's that motorized cart once again to, uh, to do some repairs. Then we get to the outside of the building again, where my friend Bob is getting ready to go into the caboose, so I get a few shots of him. He's got his old cameras, movie camera, Super 8, and his TLR on him. And I converted some of these pictures to black and white. You can see the toilet. It's a garbage can with a metal lid on the top. Stove for them to cook some food. Not a lot of room for them in there. You know, they had some upper deck, uh, you know, seats, you know, where they could look out the windows. And then, you know, I had to have a little fun with the toilet seat, so I had my friends sit on there and kind of made a joke out of it. And there's a seat, you know, near the boiler on the locomotive that's in the front of the building that we uh, showed earlier and some other pictures of the boiler here. You got the butterfly opening. We're going to throw the coal in. And a bunch of the gauges on the top, pressure gauges. Side view shot. And now we're going to start talking about the battleship. The first few pictures you're going to see are from the Riverwalk area in downtown Wilmington, which is very close to the train museum. I mean, you could walk to that if you wanted to, or it's a very short ride. Um, so these are shots, um, like I said, shooting across the river. And I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, 
a ship expert. My dad was in the Navy in World War II, um, and he didn't talk about it too much. So while you're looking at these pictures, um, I will just uh, you know give you a little bit of history on the ship. The uh, USS North Carolina, it was lead ship of the North Carolina class of fast battleships, the first vessel of its type built for the U.S. Navy. If you want to go see this ship, you want to go to One Battleship Row Northeast, Wilmington, North Carolina, 28401. The vessel's 729 feet long. Construction started in 1937, and it was launched in 1940. The beam is 108 feet. The ship was very active from 1942 through 1945, obviously World War II. Some of the campaigns were the capture and defense of Guadalcanal from August of 42 to February of 1943. Task Force task strikes in truck in February of 1944, Battle of the Philippine Sea in June of 1944, Invasion, Assault and Occupation in Iwo Jima, February, March 1945, and the bombardment and airstrikes on Japanese home islands in 1945. And there were many, many, many other operations in between. The ship was armed with nine 16-inch 45 caliber Mark VI guns, 25-inch 38 caliber multi-purpose guns, and an anti-aircraft battery of 16 1.1-inch 28 millimeter guns, 1850 caliber 12.7 millimeter M2 Browning machine guns. But this uh, battery was drastically changed during a uh, retrofit in 1942 and the ship was decommissioned late in 1946. And, and I just love the, uh, the small plane um, on, the, on the back of the ship. I think it's really cool. Now the next few pictures you're seeing are actually uh, shot from my old Raleigh Flex camera that my friend uh, developed the film for me and, and scanned the images. So I figured I'd throw a few of them in uh, for those of you that are still into film photography. And this was using, I think I was using, well, it was 120 roll film, uh, Kodak Gold 200. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I highly recommend going to visit Wilmington. Um, I mean, as my grandchildren get older, they would absolutely love, uh, you know, the train museum. And near the train museum, I mean, there are tons of little shops and stores to go into. Uh, a lot of restaurants you can go to. Uh, not all fast food. Um, and there's uh, a lot of historic homes that are within walking distance, old churches. So there's a lot more um, photographs um, I'm going to take down the road from that area. So, hey, I hope you like the, the video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, make some comments, and until next time, enjoy life, capture some of it, get out there and get some pictures. Take care.